Today, we'll be looking for loot in deep space while being hunted by Xenos. Lord help me. Well, hello. I'm a soulless husk, and this is Duskers. Uh, don't don't mind me. I'm just going to uh, go ahead and delete all of my user data. <laughs> you may be wondering why I'm doing that. Uh, a, this is not the first time I've played this game, but also B, uh, I recorded this game for over an hour, and uh, I'm checking right now. Yeah, the mic wasn't on. Like, the mic did not record my voice at all. And so I was just sitting there in a slump of my own sadness. And I'm like, what am I going to do? What, what is happening? And so what is happening is we're playing Duskers, okay? <laughs> we're playing it. I've played this game many times before on my own, but I thought it'd be great to kind of share the, the, the very interesting way to play a video game that Duskers provides. It is a wholly unique experience. You've never seen it before. So feel free, comment down below if you happen to have played Duskers before, or if you've never heard of this game and you're interested in picking it up, because it's honestly a very, very fun game. How this is all gonna work, we're gonna go through the drone operator training, even though, you know, I'm, I'm kind of okay at the game now. I got a little bit of practice in through that first recording. But here is how all of this works. So, first off, take a listen. Mmm. Ambient sounds of crunchy madness. This game is, if you're going to go and put yourself in, say, more like one of the alien movies, and you wanted something that's a bit lower tech and, uh, a little crunchier in terms of their interface. This is the game for you, okay? If you like, if you like space and you like uh, kind of these more minimal kind of looks to games, this is for you. Look at this. The whole game is played on what looks like this old monitor where you're just kind of looking at all of these drones that are going into derelict ships and we're gonna find stuff. We're gonna find enough fuel to get ourselves home. How are we gonna do that? Well, we're going to use these drones that I, it's entirely possible these are all on loan. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I own these drones, but we are going to ex explore these derelict ships with our drones to find stuff. So right now we have Brendan and Matt. The Brendan and Matt are the names of our two drones. And you can tell that the interface is uh, it's a little glitchy, a little bit shifty, but uh, I can manually control and move any of these drones around. Hey, you guys, how's it going? How's it going? <laughs> and we're going to go and explore this derelict ship. So this is just the tutorial, essentially. And to get this done, you'll see it has right here talking about open A1. And what that means is this console here, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> it, uh, gosh, it's, um, it's just text. That's it. Half the game is just entering commands and text files. So A1, there you go. And now you'll notice airlock A1 is now open. So just gotta keep my eyes peeled, looking around. Mmm, there's an open door, it's a closed door and a generator. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to start moving our folks into different rooms. So, for example, you saw me just running around with Brendan here. You know, I'm just using the arrow keys, moving them all around as you would expect. But what I can also do, navigate to, which is Matt to room two. You see him moving? See that? It's all it's all hands free. 
and he moves right in there. Now, each of these drones have unique abilities. For example, Matt has a thing called Generator, which allows him to power rooms and doors, which is all well, really good stuff. So what I'm gonna do is take go to a Brendan here, just have him explore the room, be like, oh, look, fuel, fuel access point. Very cool stuff. And a closed door. I can open the door by typing D5, because I have access to this door, but we're not gonna do that because we're probably gonna die. For now, I'm gonna have Brendan gather the fuel that's here. Nice. So we got some fuel cells, and now I'm gonna use the old-fashioned motion sensor in order to look inside the other rooms. So I'm gonna type motion, but boom. So R4 is a a room of the bone zone. It's going to kill us. Whatever's in there, I don't know what it is. I'm more afraid to find out what it is. It's going to kill us. So what we need to do is we want to investigate room four, but we don't want to die. So to save our drones, we're going to type D3 and D3. And if you're looking, R4 looks pretty safe. That's because whatever madness was in R4 is now in room five, R5. So I'm gonna press D5, and I'm going to navigate lovely Brendan over to room four. And there he goes. Little buddy's investigating all by himself. So I can manually look around, investigate the whole area for myself, see if there's anything cool here. And everything seems to be, you know, pretty copacetic. It's, it's all good. It's all good. So now I can then pilot drone one back to room two, which I can do right now. Navigate one to R2. I could also choose to just navigate it back to where drone two is, which I'm going to do right now. I'm going to lock. I'm actually going to do uh, close R3. I'm going to close all the doors here. And good old Brandon's gonna go hunker down while I press D3. Type in motion. You can see the big bad guy is in there, D3. Yep, and then we're gonna press D5. And eventually it's gonna wander into the new room because it finds an open door, whatever it is that's in there. And I'm gonna close the door behind it. Then open D2 and D3. And then we're gonna navigate good old Brendan over to R5. Now look at that. Now, Brendan's just going to have a lovely time investigating this new room, completely safe. And that's how this works. Looks like we found a dead drone. I can type info to see what's up. It's a drone named Abby. Poor Abby's all broken up. So we're gonna swap parts on Abby, grab the lore, to help lure, attract nearby organic threats. Yeah, because that's, um, that's kosher, right? And <laughs> with all of that done, we're going to go right back. I'm going to do navigate all back to R1. Everyone's going to go back home, back in our little drop pod ship. And then when we're done, all I have to do is close the airlock, get my drones out of here, and we are good to go. And just type exit, bing bada boom, we're done. And that's how the game is played. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to play a brand new game and we're going to see how far we get. Some of these threats are going to be uh, a little bit, how you say, angry. So we need to be careful as we go further along in the game. We need to continue pushing our ship through the lovely, lovely infested galaxy that we're in and hopefully get some more friends along the way. So let's go play game. So we're just going to be in our lovely little ship just waiting and hoping that our drones can be able to find whatever we're looking for. All right, navigation controls, engineering, nice. Oh. Yes, distress sequence, please. Okay, four vessels, no responses. 
Great. So what we have to do is initiate contact with these vessels, acquire necessary resources for travel. Yeah, sounds like a plan to me. Boop. Uh, yeah, let's go see what this little log is. Oh, okay. If objectives cannot be completed, recommended action, initiate a reset. All right, well, fine by me. All right. Now, this game randomly generates a lot of its maps and places, I think. Or at least it generates it from like a set number of possible tile sets to make the maps. And our current ship is the Justice ship. Full on justice. But we're here floating around in deep space. Also, just kind of take in the ambiance. It's just that feeling like you're you're in like a cockpit of an airplane or something where it's just that hum of the engine running in the background. That's all you get, because honestly, if you're in space and there's very little sounds inside of your ship, if you're traversing like you're 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 pushing the engine to go from point A to point B, that's probably the only sound you're going to hear. Space is pretty silent because, well, we're all alone in the galaxy, and it's all very sad. <laughs> no, but honestly, honestly, uh, it's mostly due to the fact that there's nothing vibrating the sound in the, you know, lack of atmosphere out in the near vacuum of space. So you might just hear this in your lovely ship. Okay, we got Kelly, John, and Ron. John, Ron, Kelly. Got it. Uh, so we've got Kelly, who's going to be, I think she's going to be our scout. We've got motion and gather. So she can scan adjacent rooms, pick up stuff, good stuff. Uh, and then we've got Ron, who's got tow and interface. I think what I'm going to do, because this is how I usually play the game. I'm going to take interface out of Ron. Don't worry, Ron, we're giving you something. I'm going to take gather off and give interface back to Kelly. So the reason is I like having a dedicated scout who can not only use motion, but also use interface. So if they're in a room and they can do a certain action, I don't have to use my dedicated hauling drone, which is gonna be Ron. Ron is gonna pick up everything for us. He's gonna pick up items and scrap. He's gonna tow things. And then John, John is gonna have the easiest time in the world. John's our generator man. We find a nearby power inlet, we plug him in, we get control of the area, he stays put. Everything goes to complete and utter dookie if John ends up getting attacked for whatever reason. So we, we kind of know that by default. The ship, the Justice Rider, is a government uh, C-type ship. I'm guessing, like most government ships, it's a minimum viable product. And you can tell, we have no upgrades for this ship. Uh, otherwise, we also have lovely modifications. And these modifications can either go on Kaylee, John, or Ron. We can increase their health totals, replenish their health, we can increase their speed, or we can repair their drone signals, and we can also upgrade each and every one of their tools, also repairing them over time. Same for things on ships. You also notice convert to scrap as an option. We can pretty much throw away most things we own, turn it into scrap. We can also generate a gather generator or tow upgrade just wholesale. If we ever throw it away or ever gets too busted, we need to get a new one, we can always make one. So, we have the Constant Drift, a terrible name for a ship, perfect name for a derelict, and we are gonna go inside and see what's going on here. I'm gonna press B to board. Yep, let's go. Ooh. Age 16 and stable. Oh, don't we wish we could all be 16 and stable? It's a personnel transport. Okay. Every communication is corrupted. All right, fine by me. So we're just, we're here. That's it. We're, we're just, we're here in the ship. Now, we can take a look. Here's Kelly. Here's good old John. And here's Ron. Kelly is going to be our main scout. Let's open the airlock and have her take a look around. What do you see, Kelly? There's an open door, some scrap, and a generator. All right. We're gonna navigate everyone into uh, 
right where Kelly's at right now. I'm going to type generator in this room as well, and then tap D4. Close the door. Uh, I'm going to ask Ron to gather so he can get that scrap. You'll notice that I just type things like gather and generator. Uh, I can't do that on, say, Kelly and say, like, oh, uh, go ahead and do a generator. She doesn't have generator. But I can do it from this screen because this schematic screen controls all the drones simultaneous. If I'm in a specific drone view, I can do certain things, but they're limited to the drone I am adjacent to or drones that understand that that is the target. A little complicated, but trust me, you'll get it over time. The good news is, is that D3 and D4 are pretty kosher. So we're going to navigate Kelly over to our three, room three. And she's auto naving right in the room. We got a drone. Oh, poor Zach is dead. Zach, what happened to you, man? Where's the danger? Where's the danger for us? Oh, poor Zach. All right, let's go see what's inside of him. Zach, please tell me you got something good. Another interface. Oh, well, that's great and not very useful, but we're going to hold on to it until, you know, the world gets better or things get a lot worse. Okay, we got some scrap. That's always good. It's always a good slap. Second motion. Looks like last room is pretty kosher. We're going to navigate Kelly over to room five, and then I'm going to navigate good old Ron into room four. Kelly's finding a bit more scrap. That's good. I'm going to ask to do a gather all. My good old Ron. I'm actually going to ask Ron to go over to the other room, honestly. Uh, R5. And then can you gather all, please? Ron, what do we got for fuel? Oh, nothing. There's no fuel in this place. This sucks. Oh, don't worry, Ron. I got you. There you go, Ron. Nice. So we've got a completely destroyed drone we're not going to have anything to do with, and all the rooms are explored. So we're going to navigate everybody back to the airlock. And that's mission complete. Once everyone's inside, I can close up and bring them home. There we go. And with that, we have some scrap. And we got an extra interface. Cool. So once again, these are our objectives that we have to do. We got to gather intel, gather resources, search for survivors. Probably not going to find any good survivors out there, but what we do have is an extra interface that we can use. One of ours breaks, which shouldn't be the case, but could happen. All right, eeny, meeny, miny, G. Uh, Carmes, government class type C, age 13 and stable. All right, let's go and check this one out. All right, let us go into the ship. Ooh, it's a personnel transport, all corrupted files. All right, crew of seven. Awesome. Okay, so this ship has a drone that's already in it. I'm starting to think that some of the maps aren't randomly generated, but either way, it's certainly difficult to do most of these maps anyway. I'm going to do a little A1 and get Kaylee out here. Let's see. Got a little power inlet there. I got an open door and an interface. Nice. Uh, interface. Oh, it's not powered. <laughs> Can we just get everyone uh, into this room real quick and then get the generator going? This this whole thing's not powered. Thank you very much, John. All right. Yep, we got a big baddie over in room five. Oops, sorry, sorry. Uh, let's do a little interface. Nice. Uh, can you do a ship scan, please? 
All right. We got stuff in some rooms and no stuff in other rooms. All right. Uh, oh, I can turn on the defenses. Whatever's in that room's gonna get blasted. <laughs> and it's gone. Uh, let's do a little ship scan again. Nope, nothing more. Okay. Uh, let's turn off the defenses. Don't wanna get blasted. And I think that's it for this. I don't think there's anything else I can do here, right? I can survey the ship. Okay, so we've got three other rooms, unknown amount of hostiles in those rooms. Got it. But at least uh, room five and two are good, so. Sorry. Kelly, I hate to break this to you, but you're gonna have to go in the wild blue yonder, okay? You're gonna have to go inside and figure out what's going on here. So I think what I'm gonna get you to do is go into D4 real quick. Say hi. Is that Holly? Oh no, Holly. Oh, <gasps> stealth. Yo, yo, we got ourselves a stealth module. Oh, this is gonna be great. Uh, let's do a motion. Oh, okay. Um, not grand. <gasps> oh gosh, room seven and eight are just open. So, it could bounce between the two. That can't be good. I don't know what this is, but it is dead. All right. Let's do a little D10. Actually first, motion. Yeah, D10's fine. And let's go inside here. Ooh, another power generator. Okay. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to D11, and then I'm going to press D5, D4, and D8. And then move everyone to you. Actually, let's keep Ron in room five. Oi. Ron, go to room five again. We're gonna do a generator on this. We're gonna gather all, because Ron can pick up all that good stuff. Bring everybody back in. All right. Now, here comes some good stuff. D10. D3. Actually, D10 again, sorry. <laughs> Oopsies. Oh, uh, we're gonna move Kelly all the way back to room three. We're gonna make... No, we're moving John to room three. We're moving Kelly into room four. No, room three, sorry. You're also gonna go to room three. D10, D11, D5. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to open, I want to open D2 while the guns are active. That's the tricky part. So to make this work, I can't cross into room five. I think we've got it. I think we've got it. So let's just do it this way. Now I'm going to do a interface. Turn on the defense system. Open D2. Come on. I know you want to come on. Oh, that's one. I'm actually going to navigate. Navigate Kelly back to this room. And we're going to just scan this room for a second, just in case there's anything else in room eight. Nope, looking clear to me. All right. 
Kelly, go back to room three and turn off that gun. Defense systems offline. Navigate all to Ron's position. We're gonna go straight generator on here. Okay. And now, okay, that's definitely in that room. We're gonna D9. We go got some scraps in here potential fuel a dead thing potential scrap all good stuff what else kelly what else can you see with your big old eyes more scrap nice all right we did a pretty good job we did a pretty good job good job team good job team you know what this means? Ron, you're up. Navigate Ron over to R7, please. Right to R7. And we're going to do a gather all. Ron, what do we got? Oh, one day propulsion and a jump cell. Nice. And then we're going to navigate good old Ron over to R5. We're going to do a gather all. And then we're going to do the same, but in R8. Hello? Ron? 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 Ron, what's wrong with you, boy? What's wrong with you? Here, let me help you. Oh, there we go. <laughs> uh, I'm going to just move you to the next room. Go ahead and do a little gather for me, please. All right. Navigate all back to room one. All right. Easy clap. What's wrong with my face? I was both angry and happy. I, I, have, I have the only face that is imaginable. The war face. <laughs> All right, let us exit. Boom! Nice. So we have a new stealth upgrade, and we got fuel, and we got scrap. Easy clap. We're we're doing amazing out here. 